MCA called Glory Glory. Mm-hmm. And then I went out to California on Fantasy, and we did two albums out there. Okay. And then I came back, and we did we had another number one record with Three Times in Love in the early 80s, and that was on Millennium. And that was my first adult contemporary record mm-hmm. also. And so we had, we, you know, this last album that we did, Hold the Fire, which came out in 2006, we had three top five adult contemporary records, oh. uh, top five singles. Awesome. And Love Words uh, 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 went number one exactly 40 years to the week after Hanky Panky. <laughs> Is that amazing? Oh, that's staying power, brother. <laughs> so we, it was very satisfying and very gratifying. And so we, uh, we put all, the, all that music on one album. Mm-hmm. And what's really amazing, too, uh, is how, like, when we got into the decade of the 80s, you were starting to hear more covers of your songs, too, like a Joan Jett and the Blackhearts did right. an amazing cover of Crimson and Clover, and Billy Idol doing Moni yeah. Moni, and yeah. Tiffany, you think we're alone now. It was all over the, the place, but these... But the well, we had was, 300 co- over 300 cover versions of our song. R.E.M. did Dragon Alliance, yeah. the Austin Powers movie in the 90s, and uh, Prince just did Crimson and Clover last year. And it went number one with his first digital album. Minnesota and, Ties. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. So, uh, at any rate, um, uh, we've just been very fortunate. The music has stayed in front of people, and uh, it's, been a, it's, it's been really wonderful. And now, of course, with the movie and the, and the play, that's going to be really solidified. So I'm, I'm really happy. I, the, listen, this is a career. This is a... Uh, you know, rock and roll is an industry that maybe, if you're lucky, gives you two or three years, and mm-hmm. we've been doing it for over four decades, so God's been good to me. You know, and I was watching uh, wrestling last night, and uh, your, one of your songs got up on there, too. Somebody- yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. For them beatings, you can't, you, can't, you can't get away from it. I was just, what the, you know, it just came so out of nowhere. I know all the songs in all the places and all the world. Yeah. You got a guy coming out there poorly strumming a guitar, singing in uh, not broken but mangled English. I think we're alone now. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I mean you're you're heading into that those you know, waters I, too. I gotta tell you something uh, for the movie. Um, uh, I the Shondells and I, the original Shondells from uh, Pittsburgh, and I are back in the studio making tunes for the movie. Oh. And one of the songs we just did was this brand new version of I Think We're Alone Now, which is slow and dreamy and totally unlike the original record. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be uh, the closing credits of the movie. And uh, we've done two other tracks for the film, and I just can't tell you how great it is making music with these guys again. Mm-hmm. We may end up just doing a whole album together. I don't know. Hey, why not? Why not? They're on the Christmas record, you know, that we have out now. Yeah, you uh, you ventured into the Christmas uh, market as yeah. well with uh, I Love Christmas. Right, yeah. and the original Sean Dells are with me on a track uh, uh, called uh, It's Christmas Again on the album, and they did a great job, and it's just magical making music with these guys again it really is and you know with with the success of the book you've been uh, this year has been a pretty busy year for you i you know besides this talk show i, I know there's other shows out there in the universe <laughs> i'm going to admit that i'm going to drop the ego for a moment here uh one of the shows that i i had a chance to be able to hear a great interview that you did and out of all places kind of a not exactly a, a, t- a known fit, but it definitely worked out. Was when uh, you you went on the Howard Stern show yeah. of all places earlier this year. Howard was good to us, you know. He, he and I have known each other a long time, and uh, uh, you know, I remember him back when he was an actual disc jockey in New York. We that's how far back we go. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, Howard was very good, and he's a little unpredictable. You never know. I said, look, Howard, I really don't want to talk about body parts if it's okay. I said. You know, ingrown toenails about as far as I'm going to go, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, he kept it pretty clean, and we uh, we, uh, we really, but he is amazing. You know, he's he's got this incredible uh, head full of knowledge that's just unbelievable. I mean, the guy's brilliant. He really is. I mean, you, you know, he, the character that he does is a bit different from... From I think who he really is, but I mean he really is an amazing guy, and he he is uh, he's a genius when it comes to uh, to radio and how it all works, and and uh, 
the trivia of, I mean, he knows minute details of stuff that happened 30 and 40 years ago. And just the way he showed such respect to you, too, it, that, that was just uh, again, Well, he was very, very awesome. good to me, and I, it was a really a nice interview, and it lasted almost an hour, and we were, uh, I've had nothing but compliments on it, so it was a lot of fun to do. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, before we go today, Mr. Tommy James, is there anything uh, else that you want to, you know, share with uh, us, the loyal following of listeners here? Sure, well, listen, you can come to our website, just TommyJames.com, if you want to, and see what we're doing. And, you know, there's all kinds of stuff going on there, and it's how we communicate with people. I'm so glad, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the website is such a wonderful window, uh, a way of communicating with people. And uh, I can't tell you since the book has been out how how great it's been to uh, uh, to communicate with people through the website. It's really been wonderful. Mm -hmm. And it was so wonderful that you took some time out of this, the schedule. Finally, we were able to link up, and it was a very pleasurable half hour just sitting back and letting you talk about this amazing new book. Well, I feel like it's a newer book, Me, the Mob, and the Music. One hell of a ride with Tommy James and the Shondells. Tommy James, thank you so much, and you definitely, if anything uh, comes up in the near, in not too distant future, and you want to come talk about whether it be the film, the musical oh, on Broadway, yeah. you always have an open well, door thank here. Thank you, Glenn. It's great talking Pretty with good. you. Thank you so much. Oh, you have a good night, sir. Bye bye. We got it going on. We are the Tuesday Night Experiment, Pioneer ninety point one FM Radio Northland dot O R G. Glenn Brockett, along with the Blind Dog. Yo, in the his house, howling mad and ready Tell to go. Tell your moms. <laughs> Hi, it's, your wife. How are your kids? It's Sugar Shaw. It's Lawson. How's your what wife and my kids? Oh, your wife <laughs> and my kids. Uh, whatever. You guys are fighting over imaginary kids. <laughs> That's sad. That's yeah, sad. I get them next week. Next, next week, we're going to have a custody <laughs> trial between Sugar Shaw and Blind Dog over yeah. some imaginary kids. You know, <laughs> You know, 20 years from now, it's, it's going to be, you know, your, uh, your kids are going to ask He's, their parents uh, how they met. And this, this, this you're going to be the, you're gonna be the creepy guy sitting at the graduation with yeah, no kid. That's right. Step on to see that little bastard. I like him. 20, 20, <laughs> 20 years from now, there's going to be kids asking their parents how they met, and they'll say it's on Facebook. They met on Facebook. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, you know, this hour we got two interviews. Yeah, I'm loading the deck here with these interviews here. Oh, man. Uh, we're, uh... We're, 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 we're a phenomenon. Busting them out, man. And, you know, we got a big announcement uh, at the end of the show about next week's interview guest. I don't know if I'm going to get more than one. I may just have this guy be our crown jewel. It's a guy. Oh, right. cool. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm always well, always uh, trying to find some interesting people to talk with. There's a lot of people that have a lot of great books out, CDs out, documentaries. we got to get a female guest. Oh, well, <laughs> you know, it may happen. I don't, see, I don't see you going out of your way to book any talent. <laughs> Yeah, you I know a, some old uh, <laughs> out of work adult entertainer. <laughs> oh, and yeah. it's getting close to the holidays. Well, uh, you see what happens is uh, they, uh, you know, <laughs> they decided to change their evil ways of shoving cocaine in their nose and you stuff. Know, the and rock and roll stuff. Yeah, now they settle down, and uh, uh, some of them I know they kind of start a little fim fam and. I think I know this one down in Fargo. She uh, still kind of strips on the side. Oh, so. oh. We we'll should to, try to get her up we'll, here, we'll man. We'll have to explore that one. Let's get the funds together. Get the co get the kitty. Oh, I, I know her number right now. I'll call her. This, uh, <laughs> this half hour, Red Peters, we're going to talk about his new holiday song, his nice duet he does uh, with Margaret Cho. It's kind of fun. And we got a radio friendly version of that, too. Oh, yeah. Just yeah, so we don't get ourselves in yeah. too hot of water. <laughs> yeah, the, send us the extra clean. Yeah, that's <laughs> fully clean version. The, the what is version. You, are you getting paid? You're like you're worse than like a guy, a NASCAR guy with all these endorsements. I told you, on I you. said I'm the big panda bear here at the, at the, at the radio station. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to get the uh, octagon out here and have some ultimate fighting. We'll bring one of those ultimate fighters in for you to we'll, we'll beat the it, panda you know, out of you. It, it took me a little while, you know, when we first mentioned about panda. What I didn't know what panda. You didn't even good. know what panda meant. I didn't know what it meant. You know, they'd have what to kind listen. of schooling did you have? Then yeah, after it's listening, from Greenbush. Then, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I have to listen to the broadcast a few times, you know, after recording it, whatever. He's there kinda, studying you know, it like there's a Bruder film. I kind of figured <laughs> what you guys meant. I kind of figured what you guys meant, so, you know, it's so all the, good. So, so the, uh, did you wander by the gym on your little break there? Oh, yeah. Wandered yeah. by the gym. Uh, Were they playing some hoops? Yeah. Yeah, they, they got a couple teams playing. And Do we have a, a Sugar Sean Slauson sports update? 
Well, the only... Oh, uh, the team with the most points is winning. Yeah. I, I, went, I went to go get a Coca-Cola, you know. And, uh, I, yeah. I would have went and harassed one of the sports announcers in there. I know yeah. there's one or two of them out here. I bet one of those janitors that actually used to work with at Hugo, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so much stuff that no one cares about. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. We're <laughs> <you> guys <laughs> talking about maybe...